Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, and we are back. We got an interview with a farmer. We're going to test it! Duggan style. Shameless style. Woo! Almost cracked there. A little crackage. All right, hopefully you've watched. Uh, we did the kind of the, the Waterford overview uh, yeah, video. Kind of detailed deep dive overview. Yeah. yeah. Um, we uh, talked, we referenced in that that we got to go visit Seamus Duggan. Yes, one, we did. One of the 72 farmers? Yeah, or up to 80, I think, now. It was 72, and I think they said they're kind of pushing 80 because they're into their third year. Mm-hmm. Um, Seamus has grown barley. They've already distilled um, some of his barley into spirit. Mm-hmm. It's not three years old yet. Nope. But we got to go out to Seamus. Um, he's north and west of Waterford, not in the Kilkenny region. <laughs> You'll see that in the video. <laughs> You'll look for that. You want to see what happens next with the little blender? Let's go. We'll watch the video. All right. Watch the video we'll with Seamus. talk about it. You don't want anyone? There's, well, there's we're a gonna, blending. We're going to come back. <laughs> we'll come back. Watch Seamus. Boom, Seamus. Anyway, that we feel, God, you know what? We've actually, we can actually see something in an end product here. Because most of the time, you're like yellow pack farmers. In other words, you grow all the grain, it goes into a heap, and it disappears. Nobody knows where it goes, what happens to it. Yeah, it makes Guinness and it makes whiskey somewhere. Yeah. But actually here, you actually know that there's a sign on that gate. There's a number corresponds with this field. In every field I'm growing the grain for Waterford, they actually have the, 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 what we call an LPIS number, a land yeah. parcel identification system number. It's an EU thing. Uh, so every field I have has an individual number. So that number is assigned to that. So they know exactly where it's grown. When it's harvested, all the records is kept of it. I have to keep my eye gas records, board B, origin green record. Everything is kept. They have a complete file on it. Yeah. It's harvested, it goes down to Kilkenny, it's uh, put in an indi- it's not even mixed with anyone else's. It's put in an individual bay, which I find amazing yeah, yeah, in your yeah. cathedral of Cork. Yeah, yeah. That that's actually yeah, fully traceable. And it's taken out the one batch up to Boer Malt, malted, and goes down to you and gives a week and you're distilled. And somewhere down the line it will be hopefully bottled. And it's, you know, me and what the seventy something farmers yeah. involved will possibly hopefully one that you might be picked as one of them that your name might be on that bottle, mm. you know, and say, this is actually where I come from. So I might end up, uh, are you from Kansas, sir? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, so someday in Kansas, in a, in, a, in a lovely little bar, you'll be looking up and you'll see, Jesus Christ, I met that guy. Yeah, <laughs> Shame stuff. Yeah. Fuck you, bro. He, he, he goes good whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> he? But like, that's the beauty of yeah. it. And that's what, uh, we uh, look, I bought into the whole idea, because, you know, 35 year grown grain, it ends up in cattle, it ends up in Guinness, it ends up in whatever. You never really feel you're any part of it. You feel you're part of something here. And you know, because I've been down with yourselves many times, and I know they're adding nothing but time and water. You know, that's it. Mm. And it's great to see it. Like, I, 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 I drank whiskey the same as everyone else, but like, I wouldn't know an awful lot about whiskey. You're the experts on whiskey, but in the past couple of years, I've started to develop a taste yeah. for whiskey. I'd actually like to join you for a couple of <laughs> sessions over there in the States and test the duties of whiskey. Because, yeah, look, there is huge differences. And I see with, with yourselves, when you bring up the bottles and the little samples, and to actually taste it, it amazes me. The field that my first laureate was grown on, I'm still grown in the same field because I find it's a particularly good field to grow barley. It's called the Bishop's Hill. And um, I was amazed when I went on your website. You were able to tell me more about the history of my place than I actually knew. But that particular field, there's a wood runs all along it and call it Bishop's Wood. And the reason it's called Bishop's Wood is because over there in the corner of my field, there's a mass pit, which is a depression in the ground, right? And back in the penal times in 1840s in Ireland, uh, Catholicism was outlawed in this country and you couldn't have mass. So they used to do it hidden and he used to do in it in the, in the corner in secrets in the corner fields where they had the depression and they'd have the mass in it but anyway he was caught over here the bishop was caught saying mass so they hung him they hung him inside in the tree the execution that was it judge and jury over and done with so that's why the field is called bishop's hill and um it's because it's beside the bishops where the bishop was hung in 1840 and I think because of that there's a special reverence in that particular field mm. and the whiskey that's yeah, going to come yeah, out yeah, yeah. you know but you know, it's all this history is now coming together. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. I don't know. We're not getting paid London for this barley now. Let, 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 let's yeah, let's yeah, be clear yeah, about yeah. that. We're, we're not getting the mint for it, but everyone wants to grow it. Yeah. And 
you see, it's not really even coming down to the to the money. It's the pride yeah. of actually being accepted as a what for grower, as to be actually say at the end of the day, I created something, and that's the long and the short of it. Yeah. I suppose it's human nature, really. Yeah. But this is the first opportunity as tillage or cereal farmers that we're getting that opportunity because up to that we're just mass producing another product. Well, be it whatever it is, Heineken, Carlsberg, Guinness, whatever. But like, what are you, a grain and a pint if you are eating that? Then nobody really cares, and then it's all about money. Yeah. This is more, I think, there's an awful lot of pride involved here. Whiskey, I suppose the most amazing thing, and you, you're a connoisseur of whiskey, and you, you would be tasting whiskey, and you've tasted probably a lot of whiskeys down there. The, 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 the most fascinating thing is, this is a Fila Laureate, right? It was sold the 28th of February this year. Mm. There's a guy down the road here, 15 miles away, sold Laureate the exact same day, done exactly the same thing, and it looks exactly the same. There's another guy in Wexford done the same, another guy in Galway done the same. All the same varieties, all got exactly the same treatment. And when I go down to Watford, and we go down to the growers there, and we get a little tasting bottle of that guy's in Wexford, that guy down the road here, mine and somebody else's. Bear in mind, everything's done exactly the same, but totally different tastes. And this is the part that amazes me, that there is something fundamentally different yeah. between fields. There is something fundamentally different in the soil or in, in or in the, the weather, the climate, where you are. And it does actually transpond on, on to, on into, into the whiskey. And that is the part that I think every grower, they just can't believe it because, as I said to you before, we considered ourselves yellow pack farmers. In other words, we're all the same. We're all doing the same job. The barley is all the same in the one heap. But this is individual individualization and it's coming out the highest degree. The tastes are completely different. That's the most amazing part. It's a taste to you, like. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Like, yeah, but it is. It yeah. is, yeah. It is. So, like, how come my laureate, so on the same day as your man, is not the same? And it's coming out of the same barrel. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely. Mark Rayner said this years ago, yeah. when you, and we all looked at him and said, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what a crock of shit. Like, you know, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, this, but he was right, and he is right. Yeah. And to this day, it's it's just bloody amazing. Yeah. Is this, is this Kil, Kilkenny region? No. This is Leash. 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 You're touching on a. No. <laughs> we had a discussion earlier no. on Shane's about no. He would good, understand this. Good but like this one. might be like Kansas and Texas, like you know, you yeah. love your neighbours like her. Would they be far from you know? Yeah. But it's not that we don't dislike Kilkenny people, but they're they're strange people. <laughs> now did you say did he uh, the one you said ask him, did he win the award last year? Jesus, don't mention that. <laughs> Hold on, you got me laughing. Oh, you said don't mention no. that. That's politics. Oh, don't See, that's politics. You're not supposed to mention that. But thanks for mentioning <laughs> Listen, he's in the running for this year. <laughs> I was told that from the first year, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think I'll have to buy it. <laughs> you, you, you were the one, you, I thought you said that. I'm looking forward to seeing that little half barrel of whiskey. It's just about, I, there was no hurry in winning it up to now anyway because it wasn't ready to be drank. Yeah. It's coming here now. <laughs> Okay, so that was Seamus out in the field. Now we go to Seamus's house. Got it. Beautiful house. He just very built nice. this thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it did. Before that. <laughs> and it was uh, drawn on the 10th tent, tent of <laughs> May 19th. That's your very big on these numbers. Uh, but you just got on with board. So it's seven. So four casks of American Forceville, four of American Virgin four French and four VDN, all different casks. You can assemble as you like. We have some water that I bought from the distillery. Um, it's not, it's not, it should take the label off. Mm. It's water, distillery yes. water. Right. So we can call it uh, authentic water. Good. With your own spirit. That's, that's your own um, well, so is it? That's the own well, yeah. So you can take a, your own specially designed mixing job. Mixing job. Uh, <laughs> Irish have here. And you can uh, put uh, an assembly of it together. So Do you need to measure it? Uh, no. And we've done an assemblage. That's a nice word. That's a big Very word. Good word. Yeah. For each of us. So it's a little <clears throat> bit broken up there. So Bart and Seamus and Scott and myself. So we're going to start with this one, um, and you can rate them or rank them one, two, three, four. Ah, wow! 
That's still that's wait till that ages five years. Oh, huh? Wait till that ages five years. You know? Any? Oh, yeah. That's only a year, water, year, year water, year wood. Jesus Holy Christ, that's time. nice. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. I'm sorry, lads, you're not getting this one. <laughs> that's just nice from start to finish. There's nothing missing in the middle. Order of preference. No, which is more? So Bart, what's no, 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 so. Yeah, which you one? You want just my favorite. One, two, three, well, four. Well, put them in order. Okay, yeah. Like, right? I would go three, one, four, two. Okay. James. Four, three, one, and two. I'm probably number two. They're all, I mean, they're obviously, they're, yeah. they're Oh, close. they're all great. They're all good. But it's amazing how. As I went down. Different still. I would say I would have to go three, two, four, one. Ooh. Because I was going to go two, three, one, four. Oh. <laughs> We're all different, aren't we? So what are you? Two, three. Two, three, one, four is kind of what I would. That's an important part though too. I mean, yeah, that's I, why we talk. Everyone's to different. Shame is like tournaments. I don't. I don't like coffee. Exactly. Everyone yeah. tastes different. Uh, well. Before we reveal the winner, yeah, Ooh. Seamus already knows the smell of defeat. <laughs> <laughs> I've never smelt it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so is it, is there a winner? See, three came up on top for uh, in, in two people. Okay. <laughs> so three was good for Bart, and three was good for Scott. Hmm. And three yeah. is Scott. Woo! Oh, what second? What second? Really? Wait a minute. Over the last. Probably yeah. last. <laughs> so Seamus liked number four first. Mm. And that was Seamus's. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 good man! 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 Good Ned likes number two, and that was your own. No, no, that means like mine's going to be down there. No, no. I'd like to present um, Seamus with his own, mm. <laughs> his own, own bottles. Mm. Well, well, that's number oh, three. Oh, sorry. Just watch it, just watch it. Don't watch it, yeah. allowed to have a heart attack here if I took it from Scott. No. Present with your own bottle. Thank bottles. you. Mm. And uh, Seamus. Thank you. And Bart. Thank you, sir. No problem. And this one, then we will bring back to base. But as you well, know, hey, let's Bart, let's wrap it up though. What? Well, uh, yeah. Those are out. Scotch it, you Scotch gods, or the Irish it, you Irish gods. Slancha, slancha, dummies. What would the, what would what would an Irish uh, salute be? May you be dead. We may be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Is that it? Something That's like that. It. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, everyone's have a good I made it all be Irish and what for? I keep it Irish. Mm. Keep the country. I know a turf. All right, so. All right, now I will apologize video. on that one. I set the camera up on that one and with the angle of people, yeah, was uh, Ned was a little closer yeah. and our auto focus kept kicking in. Boy, that drove yeah, you crazy. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, and so, but it's great shot, so we know, you know. Just, watch, I, just, just watch the audio. Yeah. You just watch the audio. Yeah. I want a little of this. I'll tell you, you know, Seamus, um, two things I liked hearing from Seamus that, that I hadn't thought about, and it really surprised me. Seamus brought up the point that the farmers that are involved in this are mm -hmm. taking pride in it yep. because they get to see the end product. Generally, <laughs> they grow the barley. Um, it goes off into a big pile. Guinness buys it. Mm -hmm. Other farmers buy it for feed. They know it's going to make stuff, but they don't ever yeah, ne it might necessarily end up in Guinness. see. And you could see he was excited. The whole reason I wanted to get out to a farm was because farmers just have a way of being farmers. And They're even, about as natural as you get. Very much. Matter of fact, even when you sat down at his table, where all these bottles were out, and he's like, you know, Ned, what are we doing? And Ned told him, and he's like, you know what we need, though? We need some scones first. Now, scones are like biscuits. But he's like, my wife made these raspberry scones. Tea. Well, we need tea. Well, yeah, we, there was tea, too. There had to be some tea. But then he's like, I like my scones heated up. Ned's like, no. And he's like, I like them. I'm like, I want to heat mine up, too. Yeah. And we heat them up. He's like, got to have raspberry jam on there. And I had some of the best biscuits with that grass-fed butter. Mm -hmm. And he's just feeding us, which is very farmer-like when you're in there. And then we got settled, and boom, we're off to doing our blending. 
deal with you. Well, and then plus he was like, you got to put fresh cream on there too. <laughs> yeah, but then so I'm like, well, where's you're the like, cream? You're like, where's that? He's like, I, I, have. I go, can I put the milk on there? <laughs> no, 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 you can't put milk. Yeah. You got to have the cream. Don't have the cream. Can't put the milk All on there. All in a beautiful Irish accent. It was yeah. so fun. I enjoyed so, it. it was oh, a good time. Uh, that was, um, I really enjoyed that. That thanks. was probably my most Thank you to Seamus and yeah. to Waterford. Yeah, thanks, Boy, Seamus, for letting us come out to your farm and film. Scotch it, you Scotch guys. Cilantro. <laughs> Dummies. Dummies.